And this is just before engine start. I would say about T minus 10 seconds or so. First thing you'll see is uh, the vibration from the main 15. engine start, and uh, then obviously you'll see liftoff, and that's pretty apparent. T minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. 5. There is main engine four, start. 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and, lift and off. liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. As you probably know, we had the uh, high Q profile, and uh, we uh, had quite a bit of vibration up around uh, 30 to 40 seconds into the flight, and I think you'll see that on the um, on the flight deck. No correction, the mid-deck camera. And about now, we're coming through max Q on the vehicle. We get through the uh, high Q portion, it stabilizes out pretty good. There's a little bit of more high frequency uh, uh, vibration, but uh, not a bad ride at all. We're coming up on the two-minute point. You can actually see the a little jolt from when the boosters separate at the two-minute. One minute and 50 seconds into the flight, Discovery now at an altitude of 25 miles, traveling at a speed of 2,900 miles an and hour. And we're in tail off. The next event will be burnout and, and separation boosters. of Discovery's twin solid rocket boosters. And now we're going to raise our visor after we're off the boosters. Discover Houston, two engine banjo. Copy, two engine banjo. Capcom and Susan's still watch informing the, the crew that in the event of a single so, engine failure, uh, the G's will just build up and you can notice the uh, position of the helmet change a little bit from the G loading as they lead the seats back a little bit further. Discovery could now reach the transatlantic abort site at Banjul, however telemetry indicating all three engines continuing to perform well and Discovery's performance to this point, two and a half minutes into the flight, has been as expected. Discovery now traveling at a speed of 3,500 miles per hour at an altitude of 43 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 70 miles. All systems are continuing to perform well. That cloud's going to miss us, isn't it? Three minutes into the flight, Discovery now traveling at a speed of 3,850 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of 86 miles. Just about five minutes of powered flight remaining on board. Three minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, Discovery now traveling at a speed of 4,600 miles per hour. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, just about 135 miles. Telemetry indicating that all systems on board Discovery are... Discovery Houston, negative return. return. Discovery, Discovery got negative, got negative return. return. And with that call, Discovery is now too far downrange and has gained too much altitude to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. Discovery Houston, press to ATO. Discovery copies. Press ATO. And Discovery could now reach orbit on two engines should one fail. However, telemetry continues to indicate that all three main engines are performing at 104% of rated thrust as expected. And Houston, as you can see, the ride was pretty comfortable. The John's there taking some notes on his handheld uh, voice recorder. Discovery traveling at a speed of 5,700 miles per hour. Roger that. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 200 miles.
And Houston were coming up on six minutes in Aston, another two minutes and 20 seconds. Was that Discovery could make it to the transatlantic abort site at Banjul in the event that two engines should fail. But all, all right. three engines are continuing to perform as expected. Discovery now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 385 miles, traveling at a speed of 9,100 miles per hour at an altitude of just about 68 miles. And Houston, we just got a little over a minute to go to Miko. Roger. Right now they're uh, at three Gs, uh, an ascent load. And, uh, Steve and John are moving their arms, grabbing over some harnesses just to help reposition and uh, make themselves a little bit more comfortable. If you watch closely with the helmets and the seats, you can see Miko occurred at least the throttle back to 67% uh, on the engines and uh, managed to cut off. And then you see some happy campers there on the uh, on the mid deck. Roger that. Seven. Okay, stand by for Miko. Ready. Miko. Miko. And there goes Miko. You see the camera angle changes just a little bit. Hey. Miko confirmed. Confirmed. Wait on 104. Wait for 104. Okay, waiting to get off the tank. Discovery Houston, nominee Miko. Ohms 1, not required. Copy. Ohms 1, not required. And Houston, that was uh, asset from the mid deck. You can see. Uh, we got some happy astronauts back in space again, Steve and John and Shiaki, and uh, I'll go ahead and turn the tape off now. They get to busy right away.